This hair is crazy. Hey guys! So I'm back! I missed you guys so much. So much has happened. I've moved. This is my new apartment. It's awesome. I'm loving it. There was Christmas. I really wanted to get a bunch of Christmas videos up, but um, life got in the way. So I'm sorry. Sometimes you just got to put your family first, you know? Um, but I did pick up the two new Lime Crime Velveteens, Cashmere and Pansy. And right on the street is there's another new one coming out that's like ruddy brown, like the new Marsala color or whatever. Okay, I've never even heard of Mar Marsala and then all of a sudden it's the color of the year. What? Whatever. Anyways, it's gorgeous. so I best believe I'm going to be getting that. So I want to do a full-fledged video on the Velveteens because I have five of them and there's two more that I really want. I'm going to try to get as many colors as I think I'm going to like want before I do a video for you guys because I might as well just swatch all of them. But anyways, I saw these two new colors, Cashmere and Pansy. I've been wearing Cashmere non-stop, so expect a look from that guy, but I hadn't tried Pansy yet, so I decided to film this little look for you guys with this um, like blown out matte purple eyeshadow look that I've been wearing a lot lately because it's really quick and really easy to do. Um, yeah, so I have no idea what I'm going to call this video, but if you'd like to see the look that's on my face, please keep watching. Alright guys, I am just going to start by priming my face. My skin has been a hot mess express lately, so I've been putting this BB cream underneath it just to give myself a little extra coverage. It's the L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifying BB Cream in the shade Fair. I love this stuff, so definitely check that out. And then I am using the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer in my T-zone and on my cheeks, just where I have like enlarged pores. And then I'm going uh, going in with my favorite foundation right now. It's the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous and I'm just mixing the shades 115 and 120 to make my perfect shade. And I'm just buffing the, into my face with a Sigma F88 brush. This is their flat angle Kabuki which is amazing. It's the same as the F80. Yeah, the F80 but it's just angled and it's really great for like getting in all the crevices by your nose and underneath your eyes and everything. I really, really like it. So you should definitely try that if you're a fan of the F80. Alright, we're just buffing along here. And then we're going to take the NYX eyeshadow base in the shade Nude, I'm pretty sure. It's the skin colored one. I kept looking on the jar to find the color and I couldn't. And we're just going to prime our eyes with that. Alright, and once we're done with that and get the eye crusty out, um, we're going to go in with the e.l.f. concealer palette. I have been loving this concealer palette with my Sigma P88 brush. Like I said, my skin has been crazy lately, so I've had to do a lot of blemish concealing, and this palette is the best money, uh, the best concealer palette that you can buy for the money. It's like $3, and it's super creamy. For my under eyes, I'm going to do use the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer because I love the consistency and I'm just going to blend that out with my finger and then a damp beauty blender. This may seem excessive, but it's the most natural look, I promise. Dance break. Woo! Okay, and then I'm going to set all of that under eye work with my favorite setting powder. It's the e.l.f. HD Under Eye Setting Powder. Like I said, this is the greatest bang for your buck and I just love using this with the Real Techniques Under Eye Setting Brush. I think that powder is like $3, so it's really good. And then I'm going to set the rest of my face using the Ready Set Gorgeous Powder Foundation. And I'm using a really old Eco Tools Kabuki brush. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with my Lorac Mega Pro palette um, if, in the shade Lilac. If you don't have this palette, that's totally fine. Just make sure you're using a wide range wide range, I cannot talk right now, wide range of purple matte tones, and you'll get the same look. I just have been using this palette a lot lately, so I wanted to do a video with it. Um, and I'm just buffing that lilac color into the crease using a fluffy crease brush. This one's from BH Cosmetics, but they're all really similar. So just use whatever one's your favorite. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure you're really buffing and making everything really blown out. And then you go, I'm going in with Dusty Plum, from the palette. 
um, and deepening up that crease and doing the kind of same windshield wiper motions, making sure everything's really buffed out, blended, all that jazz. And then I'm going in with Wisteria and doing the same situation. The reason why I'm going in with three colors for this is I really want this to be a multi-tonal, multi-dimensional look. So um, if you're liking the way it's looking with two, do what you feel, girl. But I just liked the way all three of these colors kind of blend together. So I did three. And then going in with Lilac in the shade White. It's just a matte white shadow. Um, I'm mixing those two together to create a really bright lid shade that's still in the same tones. And I'm just popping that on my eyelid with like a fluffy Real Technique brush. Um, any shade or brush will do. And then I'm going to buff that out and make sure there's no harsh lines and everything's blended together with that same fluffy crease brush with some leftover product from before. Alright, and then I'm going in with Tarte Light Ca Lights Camera Lashes <laughs> Mascara and just popping that on my upper lashes. Nothing too exciting here, just, you know, some mascara. You need it. It's important. Don't forget about it. There we go. And then I'm going to put that on my under eyes too. Alright, and then I'm just going in. You'll see me do this a couple times. I'm just making sure everything's really blown out, really blended, because that's the whole point of this look. And then I'm going to take Dusty Plum and pop that on my under eyes, just using a really flat definer brush. Um, this one's from the Urban Decay Naked pa Electric Palette, but it doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to buff that shade out with the lilac shade that we've been using throughout this whole entire look. And, you know, I just got to do the same to the other eye. All right, so after that terrible close-up, this is the Elizabeth Mott shadow stick in the shade Champagne. I'm just running that in my waterline and then touching up my under eye mascara. I finally got the Anastasia Contour Kit. I have been trying to get my hands on this baby for a really long time. So we're going to do my contour with it using the shades Java and Fawn. Um, I have been focusing a lot on my contour lately, which I heard that 2015 is going to be the year of the contour. So we've been checking that out, girl. And I have been freaking loving this palette. So we're just going to run those two colors through my contour, through my temples, through my jawline. And then we're going to take banana and vanilla and put those in the highlight areas using that same Real Technique setting brush. Um, I'm using the matte shades from the palette first and then running through a little bit with sand. And then we're going to take Rosy Outlook from my MAC blush palette that I created myself. And we're going to just throw that on the cheeks because, I don't know, I haven't used that blush in a while and I really like it. So then we're taking Grind from ColourPop Cosmetics. These lippy sticks are giving me life right now. I am freaking obsessed with this brand, and this was $5, and we're just going to line our lips with this guy. This is These are seriously the most pigmented lip liners I've ever used in my entire life. You don't even need to add anything over them, but if you do, whatever look you're going to use, whatever lipstick you use after that lasts literally all day. And then we're going in with the star of the show, Penzi. And we, I'm loving this color. This is the first time I've used it, so I'm really excited about it. And we're just going to run that Velveteen guy over the over that lip liner. And we are done. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.